Hi everyone, it's Matthew here from Bead Spider. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Uh, hello to everyone in the US. Happy 4th of July. Um, you know, hope you're having a great day uh, there in the US. And to all of the friends in the UK and watching all over the world, uh, thanks for joining with me today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use netting stitch to encase crystals uh, to make this beautiful style of jewellery, which I really, really love. It can be used in so many different ways. Uh, you can use it, for example, to create um, really beautiful bangles in like a, a nice single piece that look fantastic. You can also use it for making graduated necklaces, which I'll talk about a bit later as well. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can finish it off. So either with a um, like joining two ends together to turn it into a bangle or using a little clasp to make um, adding on a clasp to sort of create your own beaded clasp that you'll use at the very very end uh, we've got lots of people joining us already which is great we've got Evelyn Johnson uh, who has uh, joined in she's a regular she's always watching bright and early right here at the very beginning so hello to her um, Marsha as well we've got we've got Caroline thank you all for watching I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, Jax um, is here and Gail. We've got Monica as well. Maxine, she's upstairs saying hello as well. So hello, Maxine uh, from downstairs. Um, June says hello. We've also got Stacy as well. Lots and lots of people joining in. Um, I will show you really quickly what it is that I'm going to be making. Uh, so image wise, I'm making, I'm going to show you both of these styles. So the one in the teal color is our um, netting stitch with crystals in our, what we call Hollywood bangle kit just there, which is that one just there. And that one uses four millimeter bicones. And then as well as that, I'm also going to be showing you using Aurora crystal beads, which is the one in the blue. Um, that one is using a, a bit of a graduation technique to make a necklace. But anyway, I'll show you a few other pictures that we have of it. See, there's the, the, the bangle there. That's one of our gold color that we have. Um, there's uh, an example of it being worn just there. Um, also, if you fancy the um, this particular kit, the Hollywood, it is an absolute bargain this week. We are doing any three kits for £20. So you can jump onto our website. I'll show you what one of the kits looks like in just a moment. Uh, you will be able to get any three that you choose, they're the five different colorways. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating with that beautiful coral color one at the bottom. Uh, no, second from the bottom. Um, but yeah, any three for £20 if you fancy it. And then I'm also going to show you about our Crystal Calypso necklace, which there's a lovely picture of Maxine uh, right there, my beautiful girlfriend. Um that is the necklace, which comes in lots of different colors, and that's on sale too. If you don't fancy paying postage because you're overseas, not a problem as well. Um, in addition, on our website, if you head to the link up the top in the description, uh, if you're on Facebook or down the bottom, if you're on YouTube, um, you'll see a link there that takes you to the page where you can find all the products that I'm using today. Um, to create these things. Plus, uh, as I said, if you don't fancy paying for postage, you can get the uh, the pattern for both the Hollywood and the um, uh, the Crystal Calypso necklace as well, the graduated necklace. Both of those are in there, plus how to do the clasps and how to join it and everything. So that is what's coming today. Last week, if you missed it, I did the Honeycomb Crystal Bracelet, which is this one here. The sale for this kit it's on sale at the minute. That ends at midnight tonight. So if you fancy having a go at that one, you can watch my video that I did a few days ago, which is available on YouTube and Facebook and also on the Bead Spider website. All of those places, you can check it out. That's what I did last week. And as always, I'll just tell you really quickly what is coming next week. So I'm really excited about this. On Wednesday, uh, I've got... Um, ooh, what have I done? Um, yes, on Wednesday, I'm going to be showing you how to use 
beautiful dagger beads to create fantastic things. So here's an example necklace using uh, beaded flowers made with daggers. Here's an example of a, um, a dragonfly keychain. Uh, there's a beautiful necklace, which we call our Catherine necklace. That's an example of things that you'll make as well. Um, and then I think there's one other thing as well, but I'll just show you. See, look, there's a, a sort of a flower as a bangle. There it is as a brooch. See, that's the same one from the back and the front. Um, and then also there's another example of one of our Catherine necklaces. But yeah, the kit itself, which I'll just show you on our website, again, up in the description, there's a little link that says um, upcoming shows. If you click on that, it will take you to this page right here, which uh, if we look at that one, so there's the video I did last uh, on the first on Wednesday. Here is today's video where you can get all the different products that I'm going to be using plus the pattern. And then in here, uh, you'll be able to get our little dagger book uh, beaded booklet, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Um, if you uh, want to grab that, it's going to show you all of those different designs. I'm not going to be able to go through all of them in the tutorial, but I think there's um, quite a lot in there that makes it really worthwhile. So on that page, you can go in there and very soon, I'm not sure if it's quite ready yet, but very soon, we're also going to be putting up a really fantastic bundle full of dagger beads that you can get. It'll be in this product category uh, very soon. So you will be able to also get lots of daggers if you want to join in on Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, just very, very quickly, I'll show you as well. Here's today's. Uh, there's the pattern for the Crystal Calypso necklace. There's the Hollywood bangle. And as I said, any three for £20 on our Hollywood bangle kits, uh, which there's these four, four options just here. Um, for some reason, the blue one seems to be out of stock. Uh, I'll put that one back in stock uh, very, very soon because I believe we should be able to have that one up on there as well. But uh, I'll just keep an eye on that one. So hopefully that will be coming on soon. Uh, but yeah, the Crystal Calypso necklaces are also here. We've got a fantastic bundle on our four mil bicones. But yeah, lots and lots of products in there that you can go and check out um, if you fancy. Uh, but yeah, so today, as I said, I'm... Oh, and one last thing I'll just show you as well, which is coming after um, next week I'm next Saturday so this time next week I'm going to be doing our Times Square bracelet kit which is this beautiful one just here it's probably I'd say in the top three most popular kits that we do uh, it uses these beautiful mini tile beads and then we've got little um, squares of, uh, of seed beads in between each one but you can see we've got quite a few different colors of it uh, that um, you can get and if I just refresh my uh, website page that I was showing you a second ago I have a feeling that the Times Square is up and available for you all to have a look at yep there we go it's up and live now so there you go you can check out all of the things on the Times Square page uh, from here see the kits everything is in that little section just there so that is what's coming over the next few days but as I said today's plan I'm going to which I'll show you the designs that we've got I'm going to start by showing you the technique for making these beautiful Hollywood bangles. Let's zoom in a little so that we can see the actual design of it, because it is stunning. Uh, you use these uh, seed beads to create a beautiful net of seed beads around your crystal. So see how sparkly the crystals look? And then you've got these seed beads over the top that sort of encase it within there, which it's quite nice. You just roll it over your wrist and it goes on as a beautiful bangle like that just there. So that is what I'm going to be demonstrating technique wise. I will also show you with, here's one I made earlier, how to join the two ends together into a bangle. I'm going to show you that. And then as well as that, 
as I said, we've got our Crystal Calypso necklace, which I'll show you the contents of the kits in just a second when I get them out. Uh, but let's zoom out a little so we can see the necklace a bit. Um, this one incorporates some of our Aurora Crystal beads, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. They look like little bubbles almost. I really love them, but they're so luminescent. Um, but yeah, you can see how you've got sort of, it's thinner at the end and then it gets a bit thicker towards the center and then it gets thinner again out on the edge. I'm going to explain that process as well. Um, and then I'm going to show you how, which here's a little mini version, which is essentially what I'm going to be doing, how to create your own little beaded clasp to finish that off as well. So you've got two different ways to finish it, the technique. There's a lot to learn in this video. So anyway, as I said, I'm going to be using the colorway just here, which is the Venice Beach Coral. Let me just take it out of the packaging so that we can see. We've got lots of people commenting, which is always great. Marsha thinks the, the Times Square is so pretty. Don't worry, Marsha, you're not the only one who thinks that. It is a very, very popular kit that we do, if not one of the most popular, I would say. There's probably top three in popularity, that kit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be teaching that next Saturday. Um, so we've got lots of people in the US. Um, Evelyn, she just got her order today to make uh, last week's kit. So she placed an order after the show, and now she's going to have to go back and watch last week's show again so that she can make it. So anyway, included with your kit, let me just zoom out a little so that we can actually see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll turn down the brightness a little just so that the paper can be visible. There we go. Uh, so I've got my instructions just here. This comes included in the kit if you fancy one. I am going to go through all the different diagrams as well. That is included in your kit. You also get, as always, because like I said, we always give you everything that you would need to make it. You've got your four mil crystals, which let me just pop it on the, tea, uh, on the screen there, the materials. So I'm using size 10 Preciosa seed beads, four mil crystal bicones, and then as always, I've got myself um, the uh, Spidalon thread just there. So that is what I'm planning to use uh, today to create that um, gorgeous uh, effect with the beads so that it looks really, really spectacular. That's the plan. So these are my two little seed beads just here, my seed bead and my crystal. And then I'm going to use some white spider on thread, which as always includes, which hopefully you can see if I took it out of the pack, you'd definitely see it. You've got a needle included as well in the pack, which comes with every single kit. Um, Elaine, she says she'll watch me later. Don't worry about that, Elaine, not a problem at all. Oh, almost forgot. Um, one thing just before I begin, if you want to be featured on the show, uh, send us your pictures. So I've got lots and lots of pictures to, whoops, sorry about that, uh, to show you. Send your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk and I will try and get you in the show for when I begin, um, uh, you know, at the end of the show, the plan is I will try and show your designs in there so everyone will be able to view what you've made. So, for example, I've got a few here from the start uh, that came in over the last few days. Um, if I can just get it to show, for some reason it's not wanting to show. Uh, what's going on with that? No, doesn't want to work. Why is it not showing? Wait, no, no, not yet. Give me a second. Um, what's going on with this? Why is it misbehaving? Uh, hmm. All right, well, I'll have to come back to that in a minute. I don't know why it's not working at the minute. It's usually working just fine, but uh, I'll just pop them in here actually let's just give me a few seconds and i will show you those pictures that we had sent in over the last few days because i really like it's one of my favorite parts of the show is showing everybody's pictures so i'll just do that really quickly and then hopefully we can see what everyone's got here we go so we've got a couple from colleen this one here is absolutely stunning i think uh she's made this oh wait a sec let me just get it fixed up so that it fits nicely. Um, but yeah, she's made this beautiful design, which 
appears to have a gorgeous, absolutely stunning piece in the center there, which I absolutely, there we go, we can see it a bit better now. Uh, it's got this absolutely stunning pendant in the center there, which absolutely, absolutely looks spectacular i love it so great job to colleen she's also sent us a second picture which is this one just here that's using one of our gorgeous magnetic clasps that we have um, and then it looks like she's done a flat spiral um, as a bracelet there that looks gorgeous great job there to colleen um, caroline says it's those gremlins i think you're absolutely right um uh there i'm definitely having some struggles it seems today and then we've also got sharon who sent in this picture of the jazz set which i did um a few weeks ago on a live tutorial i've made these items for my daughter-in-law's uh for her birthday um very pleased with the finished items lovely pattern thank you matthew well that looks absolutely stunning i think you've done a great job on that one so well done there uh, to you, Sharon, that looks wonderful. Um, but yeah, uh, so without further ado, I think it's time that we got started with this tutorial, don't you think? So anyway, um, I'll just get out my little beads. I've cut myself about a meter of um, thread, but if you want to give yourself a little bit extra, if you give yourself about two meters, uh, that will be plenty and you probably won't need to change anymore. But if two meters is a bit too much to work with for you and you would prefer to use a slightly smaller amount, that's not a problem at all. You can do that very, very easily. You just um, just have to change your thread midway through, which is nice and easy. If you want to check back in some of the previous videos, I show a really good technique uh, called a weaver's knot um, that will show you how to do that uh, that little technique. So that one's quite quite a simple little process that you'll be able to do. So anyway, I've got myself um, some thread here. I'm just getting out my beautiful beads, which I absolutely love the colors of this. Um, here, here's that that finished version of it, um, which you can see is absolutely gorgeous. And you can see the, the sparkle that you get from the crystals underneath the uh, the netting. But anyway, once I've got your, your thread, you just pop um, some uh, needle on there. So I'll just grab my, my needle. Uh, we've got quite a few questions. Um, there we go. So, uh, Risa, Matthew, if we use Mayuki, should we use 11s or 8s? Um, I think the best, if you want to use my Yuki's, is 11, because these ones, the Czech size 10s, they are exactly the same size as a Japanese size 11 seed bead. So um, you can use your, your size 11s. Uh, it makes no no different. They're a, a little bit thinner, like the width of the bead. I do have a great picture which shows you an example of... of um, the sort of the varying in thicknesses because they all have sort of the same diameter but it's the width of the bead um which if i just see how well this works if i try and this is definitely not going to work but yeah the width of the bead along the needle is a bit wider with those um preciosa size tens but only very 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 marginally um on on those but otherwise uh the width of the bead so how round they are so from top to bottom i suppose they're the same size 10 and size 11 they're all they're all the same size um so yeah first thing that we need to do i've got myself my little crystals just here um i've got myself my thread and then what i'm going to do leaving a tail of about 30 centimeters i have to pick up one seed bead let's zoom in a bit shall we so that we can really see what i'm doing there we go one seed bead one let's get these a bit neater i have a, a horrible tendency to work like a big messy pup i always get uh, in trouble for work making a big mess when i'm doing my my bead work so hopefully that won't be a problem today but anyway so one seed bead one crystal one seed bead one crystal, one seed bead, and one crystal. So essentially, it's a seed bead followed by a crystal, and then you repeat that three times. So if I just, let's come in even closer, shall we? 
Uh, yeah, so there we go. And I'll just pop on the screen what I'm about to do with those beads. I'm going to bring them around into a circle and create, um, so I'll thread through all of the beads again. And as I said, I'll create that little circle in the center there that I can work with um, as sort of the base for my design. So just pop that little instruction over in the corner. And there we go. So what I'll do with my thread coming out here, I'll leave myself a tail of about 30 centimeters. I've got a nice long thread to work with. So you want this section to be about 30 centimeters long, which is 12 inches or so. Um, Rebecca Lou, what size are the crystals? They are four millimeter bicones. So let's just get a little closer even. And, um, but yeah, as I said, four millimeter bicones, which let's just pop that into the bottom so you can see what I'm using today. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, we'll go around through all the beads once more to create that little circle. Pull, 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 like that. Let's get it all the way in. And then as we do that, it comes into a nice little circle, which I can tie these two ends together, the tail and my working thread. I'll tie them together. So I'll just show you the instruction again. There it is. Um, tie these two threads together with just a normal overhand knot in there and then pull if you do a couple of knots you'll you'll make it a little bit firmer but it's not too important um but yeah that will lock your little beads into this beautiful little design here let's have a look see if i can get even closer to show you there we go so now it matches exactly with my little diagram just there get my finger underneath and you can hopefully see it a bit clearer look at that what a beautiful color i absolutely love um that color just there uh that's um one of my favorite in these crystals for sure the four mil bicones they're gorgeous so anyway once you've got yourself in position now the tail thread we can ignore for a while i'll just make sure that i'm coming out after um a little seed bead just there so if i just continue now what i'll do is make sure i'm coming out of a seed bead so that's important you don't want to quite be where the knot is so i'll just thread around a few more beads and then out of a seed bead there we go i'll just pop that back down so that we can all see it and then i'll leave it on the table so that it's nice and clear for you all to see there we go so that's perfect 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 great so what i'm going to do now essentially what we do we need to create that netting around um the crystals so see that little netting that goes around your crystals each one of these i have to start cre by creating that little um with the seed beads. So how I do that, now that I'm, wait, I'll just show you the instructions nice and big. Now that I'm coming out of a seed bead, like you can see just here, what I'm gonna do is pick up seed beads. I need to pick up seven seed beads there. And then I'm gonna go around the crystal and through the next seed bead around the corner. So let's just pop that up in the screen. I'll pick up seven seed beads, one, two, three, four, five six seven there we go and then as i said we'll go around this crystal get these little seed beads out of the way around that crystal and into the next seed bead along so there we go just through there pull my thread nice and tight all the way and there you go so that now creates a little loop around your crystal so the next thing we're going to do is just pretty much repeat that process once more is uh we're going to pick up another seven more beads uh just uh, the same as we did just a second ago and then we're going to use those to go around the next crystal so pick up my seven beads one wait a minute 
There we go. One, two, three. Got a bit of fluff on the end of my needle. There we go. Four, five, six, seven. We've got lots of comments coming in. Not doing too well. Lots of people talking about uh, watching the Formula One. I am uh, a big fan of the Formula One as well. So um, we've just been asked, do they shout at the TV? I do. Well, uh, you wouldn't believe when when Dad and I are watching the Formula One. There's there's lots of oh and wow at the TV. So um, yes, we can definitely relate to to that one there. So there you go. You can see I've done that now around the next crystal, and then once more I'll do it. So I'll just show you it nice and big. We'll do it once more so that we're coming out at that seed bead where we. Uh, started from so more or less all the way around the circle um, I'm going to be coming out uh, just there so <clears throat> that's my plan um, here we go so I'll just do that now don't forget by the way guys um, if you want your pictures to be shown live at the end of the stream because I do really enjoy showing off people's pictures and all their hard work plus lots of comments come in about how much everybody um, likes the designs that we've seen like I've seen a lot of comments coming in um, with with uh, Colleen's um, pendant that was that one got a lot of comments saying how beautiful it was um, but yeah if you want your jewelry to get shown just like Colleen's and um, lots of other people as well who they send theirs in over the weeks jump on to uh, the the if you have a look in the description I've got the um, email address available in there so that you can just copy and paste that if you prefer but otherwise I'll just put it at the bottom here um, email us your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk and before the end of the show I will try and show them all off so anyway as you can see I'm now coming out of this little seed bead just here which um, there you go. Now you can see it live at beadspider.co.uk. That's the email address to send to. If you want your pictures, I'll try and get them shown at the end. So anyway, um, there we go. So now I'm coming out, like I said, from this little seed bead at the top. And what we'll do next is just weave around so that we are coming out of the little seed bead at the end of um, between our... Uh, two little um, like at the at the tip I suppose because we did an odd number seven so that gives us one seed bead that's directly in the center I'm going to be uh, coming out of that bead just there so through the first four beads let's just take a quick little jump back over here so with my needle I will go through the first only four seed beads so like I said one two three and then four so there we go um then i'm coming out exactly where i want it to be don't forget you can get the pattern for this uh what i'm teaching today it's available directly from the bead spider website so if you head to the link up in the description um good morning to barbara by the way who's just joined us uh we've got Rebecca as well, Dana has, she says she loves the colors. There's lots of people who've all joined in, which uh, makes me really happy. So anyway, uh, I'm now coming out of that little crystal. And then this is where we sort of start to build on our levels. So what I'll do, you can see here in this next diagram, I'm going to be picking up crystal bicones and then jumping through to the, the next sort of tip seed bead there then another bicone and jumping through the tip of the next one around the crystal and then one third and final crystal before going into the um, back more or less to where I started from. So if I just show you on here, I'm coming out of this one here, I'll pick up a crystal and then go through the one at the center of this little group. Then I'll pick up a crystal and go through the one at the center of this little group and then pick up one more crystal and then come back through this little seed bead where I've started from. So I'll get my three little crystals here in position. I'll pick up the first one. And then pull it, whoops, got my thread caught there. There we go. Let's just pop that back there. And then this one here, so if we just count along, you can see this is the, the seed bead that's between the two crystals. And then one, two, 
three, it's the fourth. So I'll go through this fourth little bead here. All the way there. Let's keep going, keep going. Pull, pull, pull. I'll keep it loose for now because I really enjoy when you pull it tight what happens. It looks fantastic. I think it's, uh, you know, it's one of those satisfying moments when you pull everything together and it just looks amazing. So with my thread coming out here, there's the middle seed bead there. So down one, two, three skipping this one as well one two three and then that brings me to the fourth one here which is the center of this little tip bit so if i just take my needle through that one there that's the middle of the next loop around the crystal so i'll pull 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 try and keep it as flat on the table as i can so that it looks nice and easy for you guys to follow and then lastly i'll pick up one last crystal and go through, whoops, just pulled it on my edge there, back into the original bead that I was coming through at the beginning here. So starting back exactly where this step started. So the reason I've kept it loose, you'll see, I just want to do it for effect. It's much easier if you pull it tight all the way, but ready? So now it's exactly the same as my image, uh, as my little diagram up there in the corner. And then when you pull it tight, it lifts them all up together and creates this little three-dimensional shape. So all right, I'll pop it on its little side there. There we go. And now we've got like two levels. So the first level of crystals and then the second level of crystals sits on top, which if I show you, I think I've got a great diagram for it. There we go. There is the little image of what I've done there. And you can see exactly where I am, how it's now in that sort of three dimensional shape to create that gorgeous sort of tubing effect that we want to um, achieve. So I'll just pop it into the corner so that we can see and then just like in the diagram, here's my one here. So now what we do, we just sort of continue along now by going around, wait, let's just show you in diagram form, it's always easier. So now that I'm on the next level, going from seed bead to seed bead around the crystals, I'm going to be picking up seven little seed beads again. So that essentially is the, the repeating process. So let's just, you'll see in a minute, once I've done a couple of rows, it comes together really, really quickly. Um, one, two, three, four, let's just come back to me here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip around into the next little joining seed bead here. Pull it nice and tight. So it's always so much, it always looks really complicated and difficult. I'll just get my tail thread out of the way if I can here. And then it always looks so much more difficult and complicated than it really is when it comes to beading. You really do find that once you sort of have a go at it, it's just a very, very simple little process that you need to learn. And then you repeat, 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 repeat all the way along, which where's one of my finished ones? Here we go. We just repeat, 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 repeat until it's your size and it's finished. So essentially it is a lot simpler than it appears to be. So as I said, I'll just pick up my seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't forget this kit that I'm doing, which is the, I'm currently doing uh, the Hollywood. That one is uh, any three bangles for 20 pounds. So an absolute bargain. Um, if you are overseas, so if you're in the US or Canada, uh, you get a flat rate for postage of just six pounds fifty so it doesn't matter how big your order is if you want to place a really big order you'll still only get um you'll still only have to pay six pounds fifty um and then for you people in europe it's only six pounds so again really reasonably priced for your shipping um if you're in the uk that's where we do our best bargain for our locals um we give you uh, free postage as long as you become a member on our website, which becoming a member is for free. And even if you're not in the UK, I do recommend becoming a member just because you get access, easy, easy access to all your previous orders. If you buy any of our patterns, for example, as well, you can just go back and download them all anytime you want really, really easily. 
um, from your My Account page. So anyway, now that I've added, um, oh, and lastly, if you're outside of the US or UK or Europe, um, we do an invoice postage system. So you get, um, we just sort of, we fill your order, we package it all up, we figure out how heavy it is, and then we work out the exact price of postage so that you're only paying for what you're using. So again, we try and make it as cost effective as we absolutely can for our international customers. Um, but yeah, you, you know, so it's really, really great value when we, the way we do our, our postage for all of you, because we want to encourage you to, to try it all out. Uh, so now I'm in position again, uh, where I was just before. I'll just show you the next diagram because it's very similar again. I'm going to just pick up my three crystals and then go through the corners of those little um, edgings around my um, my little uh, my little piece that I've made essentially. So each um, corner of the seed beads around the crystal corners. So there we go. So I'll just rotate a little so that I can see it a bit easier. And then I will go through the fourth. So there's that seed bead that's between the crystals. Then one, two, three. And here is the fourth. So there we go, just inside there. And now this time I'm not going to pull them all at the end. I'll just do it at the beginning because it's a bit neater looking as I do the, uh, the actual work. But yeah, just pull that and that just brings that side neatly into position. Let's bring it a little closer to the center of the screen there. Pull that one nice and tight. How's everybody doing today, by the way? Uh, what have you all been getting up to? What have you been doing this week? What's, uh, you know, how many people there in the US have big plans for the 4th of July today? How many of you in other places, what have you all got planned for your day today? What have you been doing? Because I know Kelly in Australia, who's a very regular watcher, she's not joining us today because she'll be watching later, I assume. Uh, but yeah, her husband, it's his birthday today. So he's not. she's not going to be joining, even though she's a, a very... Um, regular watcher she uh you know she had a very uh tough dilemma to choose between but unfortunately you know i, I mean they've been married a while i assume so uh unfortunately she's not joining us today but um she'll definitely be watching on the rerun so if you're watching this now at any time kelly in the future um happy birthday to your husband and um uh, you know, thanks for watching later. Um, by the way, anyone else who isn't going to be watching now and wants a little reminder once this video is finished, I can send you a link so that you can watch anytime you like. Um, <clears throat> just type the word subscribe into the comments and I will send you a link um, to this tutorial after it's all finished so that you can watch it on demand whenever you want. Um, so let's just head back here. So let me see, what's my next diagram? Essentially, yes, there we go. So now that I'm at that position, there we go. If I just show you it, here it is. That's essentially where I'm at. So we just continue making these levels now. So one, two, and I've got my third level just here on the top, which is, oops, if I, oh, I'm pulling the wrong thread. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Pull that and you can see there that creates the next little level of beads there and then from the side you can see it starts to come together really really nicely um but yeah if uh there's uh, if you just continue along it creates more and more and more sort of levels so i'll just do a couple more i might flick it over into right-handed view because lots of people are right-handed and say that they prefer to see it as though i was a right-handed person so i'll just flick it over now and so it looks like i'm right-handed um i'll just stand it up and then i'll do seven one two three one two three four five six seven so the step that i'm doing right now is this one again because it's literally just a process of repeating these two steps so there's seven um there we go there we go. We've got Becky who's uh, who's asked me to send her her link. So she's written the word subscribe in the comments there. Uh, so Becky, I'll be sending you the link after the show so that you'll be able to watch live. Uh, sorry, not live. You can watch on demand 
um, the whole show. Then you'll be able to rewind, fast forward, play, whatever it is that you want to do um, at your pace. So don't forget anyone else who wants uh, that little reminder in there too, definitely hit that little subscribe button. Um, speaking of which, one other thing, um, if you want to be notified, if you enjoy these tutorials and they find them really easy to follow, we get lots of people saying how uh, they enjoy how I've got the little diagrams up in the corner so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, if you like that and you want to see more of my tutorials and you want to know when we're doing things and uh, all of that, if you take a little look at the link in the description, I highly, highly recommend it because very, very often if you want to be watching on demand, if you um, don't have time when it comes through, in our emails, uh, there's a little link up there at the top which says subscribe to uh, our newsletter. We email every time we're going to be going and doing a live video, so you absolutely won't miss out. But the great thing, the best thing about it is if you don't have time to watch today uh, live, the link that you get in the email is exactly the one that you will need to watch when you're watching on demand. So even if it, you come to the email, three hours or five hours or three days after I finish my tutorial, there is um, that little uh, link that you'll be given in the email. You can click on that and it will take you to the video. Um, let me just press the little diagram button so you can see which one I'm doing now. I'm gonna just join the crystals, uh, the tips back up. Um, uh, but yeah, so so definitely hit that little subscribe button because then uh, when we do our videos, we'll send you a link uh, directly to view what it is. You'll know exactly what the video is going to be, when it is, and even if you miss it live, you'll be able to click that exact same link that you get in your email and um, it will take you straight to the video. So even if you've missed it, you'll be able to watch it on demand whenever you're ready. Um, so. Um, yes, as Risa, Carissa has suggested, ring the bell. So if you are on um, YouTube, definitely hit the subscribe uh, button um, and, the, and the little bell so that you'll find out when we do videos. And the same one is on Facebook now too. And also, as always, if you would be so kind as to um, share this little post, if you're on Facebook, share it with your friends or maybe on a bead group, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, I hope you enjoy these tutorials. I really enjoy doing them. But yeah, if you can help me out by sharing this video to lots and lots of people, lots more people will be able to enjoy it as well and, and sort of learn about it. And we can sort of spread the word about jewelry making. So lots of people can get involved as well. So if you can um, share this little post uh, so that lots of people see the video, I would very much appreciate it. Um, right. I will talk about tension. I've just been asked about tension. Um, Sharon, is your tension really tight or is it relaxed? So generally, Sharon, what I like to do, um, if you keep your tension relatively loose up until the point when you want to sort of finish uh, a round, that's when you can pull it tight. Because if you sort of do the whole, like, for example, if I, I'll show you one now. If I pick up my seven beads, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and go around the next crystal, I can pull it nice and tight here because tension is important. But um, if you pull it nice and tight here, by the time I pick up my crystals and do things, it can come a little bit loose. So I don't worry too much about the tension at this point. With this particular design, because it's in like these levels, I try and do my tension at the end of each level. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads. I'll just do this one more level and then I'll move on to um, how to stitch the two ends together, by the way. So make sure you're sticking around for that. Uh, so there we go again. Uh, so it's relatively tight, but not too tight so that I can tighten it at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which what I'm doing is this step again. Um, there we go. And then I go through here and through the four beads. And then this is the point at which I will pull my tension nice and firm because this essentially ends this step. Everything is locked in place and this will help me 
to lock it into place. There we go. So as you can see, um, uh, now it's nice and firm and I'm ready to continue. So this is the point where I filmed it. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, lots of people telling us what they've been doing. Um, oh, apparently lots of fireworks have been being cancelled because of the coronavirus. So that's a shame. That's a, that's a, a big shame because I know it's a, a fun day for all of you in the US where there's lots of fireworks at the end of the day. But um, I guess this year is going to have to be a little bit different. So anyway, again, just uh, to answer your question a little bit further as well, Sharon, uh, as I said now, because I'm sort of joining these little pieces together i'm not too worried about the tension just yet because once i've um one two three and then four once i've done a whole row which you can see the, the rows come together quite quickly once you know what you're doing i've got it just relatively loosely tight but then you just finish it off going through the same bead there we go and then pull that nice and firm and that will get me nice and tight and ready to do the next level see there we go and then this is where I pull it tight ready to do the next level so if I just show you the edge here oops just there there we go now we're really starting to bring it together to create this beautiful design pull a little tighter so we can see but yeah if you um, you can pull it even tighter if you want to but um, if I just Take it a little further forward. There we go. That's coming together really nicely, isn't it? Which essentially, if you keep your tension really, really firm, this will become a bit stiffer. But if you keep it just a little bit softer, it gives you a really nice, smooth, which let's zoom out a bit because I'm going to move on to the next part of the demonstration, I think. So there we go. So. It's nice and sort of soft and supple if you keep a good tension. If you use a good thread as well, it makes a big difference. But then you can just roll it onto your wrist because the tension's not too firm, so it will easily roll. See? Look at that. Easy. But, yeah, that's um, like a, a really nice sort of tension to try and achieve there. But, yeah, see, that's coming along really nicely, isn't it? So you just repeat that. Um, all the way around until you've got your full length so if i just jump ahead um, i'll put this aside for now i've completely not even had a single sip of my tea let's see what the temperature's like today um so there's my tea and i have myself a nice little sip um, i'm gonna just jump ahead now to stitching the two ends together so here's one i made earlier So essentially what we're doing now, if I just show you on the instructions nice and big, I bring my two ends together uh, so that they're ready to stitch. Um, where you want to be is I'll just bring myself, uh, my, my, my little piece that I'm working on into that position so that you have um, crystals at both ends. So if we have a look on this one, which I have just here, I don't yet. Um, hi, Nancy from Pennsylvania. Thanks for joining us. Where is everybody watching from today, by the way? Um, I'd love to know whereabouts you are. Uh, but yeah, if uh, so, see that there. I've got my little seed beads at the end. I need to do one more row of crystal beads. So just show you the diagram once more. See how there's crystals at the top and crystals at the bottom when I bring the two ends together. Um, if I show you my one here, the, I've got crystals at the bottom on this side, but I've got seed beads at the end of this one. So that's how you know where to finish is so that you've got crystal um, crystals together like that. So where's the next? Let's just get my little thread here. Here we go. Pop my needle on my thread. And then what I'll do, I'll get my three crystals and then I'm going to join the two ends together so this is a really nice simple easy way to join them together um yeah as i said where where's everybody from what where, where where are you watching from at the minute i'd love to know where you are today it's miserable and cold weather here today but how is it where you are that's what i want to know um and and um and where and definitely where you are 
Um, Hillary's in Edinburgh. We've got Annalise in the Netherlands. Um, yes, Risa says she much prefers this one because she likes the contrast in colour. Um, contrast does look nice. It's it's a matter of preference, really. Some of them, like, for example, this one here, where it's sort of the colour matches in with each other, I absolutely love how nice it looks uh, when it's all sort of matching, just because it's really, really sort of ornate on the wrist when you wear it. But I guess on the other hand, the contrast does also look fantastic. It's, it's, it's just a matter of preference. But as I said, um, the kit, uh, if we, if I have a look just on the website, I'll just show you it really quickly before I do this little section. Um, if we have a little look, wait a minute, where are we? Here we go. Um, so I'll just go into the page. So if you click the link in the description that um, that says, you know, take me to the Hollywood bracelet products, uh, just here, there we go. And it's back in stock now. So here is the one I've been demonstrating with, the Venice Beach. Um, there's five different colors. As I said, any three for 20 pounds, so an absolute bargain on those Hollywoods. Uh, but this is the one that I'm gonna be stitching together, the over the rainbow Hollywood crystal bangle. Um, that's the one there. But yeah, definitely check it out at any three for 20, it's an absolute bargain. Um, so now I'll just stitch these two lens together so that I definitely have my, um, my uh, my two crystal ends, because that's where I want to be up to, so that I can start the process of turning it into a bangle. So just very, very quickly, I'll just put the crystals into position, and then we can continue along with the next step. So here we go. Let's show you the next diagram. So what I'll be doing now, so bringing the two ends together, what I need to do is going from seed bead to seed bead around the little end, stitching the two together with three beads at a time. So let's just take a quick look at this with my um, diagram in the corner there. I'll zoom it in a tiny bit more for you. There we go. So bringing the two ends together, I've got crystals on both ends and then what i need to do is coming out of this seed bead here i it's important that you check that this isn't all twisted because this is where you can sort of cause yourself a problem but yeah what i'll do is go from this seed bead to the next seed bead around in there so i'll pick up my three beads one two three because essentially what the plan is is to continue this pattern so if you were to imagine it i'm going to be bringing these little beads together so zigzagging to stitch the two pieces together so first one's first i'm coming out of this spot just here so i'll go into a crystal a seed bead sorry oh i've almost got the wrong seed bead i'm not paying attention in the slightest uh let's get the right seed bead shall we let's get this other one out of the way so i don't make that mistake again and bring in my purpley ones here so there we go um so we pick up three purple ones haha <laughs> wasn't wouldn't have that been funny uh i guess it would have made it easy for you to see exactly what i've been doing but yeah so from this seed bead to this other vertice little seed bead here and then as i pull that tight that creates the first little zip, as it were. Um, then, now that I'm coming out of that little seed bead there, I can rotate this around and come out of the next little seed bead on this side that's sort of in a vertice. So I'll pick up one, two, three, and then bring it down. And then skipping this crystal, we go through the next seed bead along so it's sort of the same process but uh, you just go from one side to the other to the other so it didn't just so there you go so that's going to create the first little v shape have i done it in the right spots yes there we go very good so that'll bring my first v in then i'll just rotate it around a little pick up three seed beads one two three I'll go through so around this crystal and into the next vertice. So there we go, in there. 
pull that through nice and tightly. There we go. Try not to get my thread caught. Pull. There we are. Then three more. One, two, three. Through the next little vertice around. So you sort of have to like roll it as you go. One, two, three. And then pull nice and tight. Roll a little more. We're not too far from the end now. Skipping this crystal, we go one, two, three. Zoom in even closer for you if you like. There we go. One, two, three, into the vertice. Just that one seed bead. Pull, 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 and join it. Then once more, we'll go one, two, three. Sharon says, well, that's easier than I expected. That is often the case, Sharon, with these, um, these, uh, these beading um, projects. All of our designs, because if you don't know, uh, I used to do the Create and Craft TV channel um, here in the UK. If you haven't watched it before, uh, Jermaine and I, we've been on there a long, long time uh, doing the, uh, the TV shows on there. Um, but essentially, the thing with doing the, the TV station, because in the, the UK here, everybody well lots and lots of people are card makers and that tv channel is predominantly for those card makers a lot of our kits that we've made in the past are sort of aimed at people who've never done jewelry making before so we try and do designs that look really spectacular and effective but if you are a complete beginner, you'll still be able to do it. Um, let me just whack on over the diagrams here. So what I've done, see how I'm just, uh, I've gone around and around and stitched all the ends together. Essentially what I need to do now is just pop in and tie the uh, this little thread off. And that will essentially finish off and secure this final piece. So just i'll just do it very quickly i'll weave through here you can see i've stitched all the little rows together now so that it's one single piece and then with your thread you can literally just weave up through a few seed beads you tie some occasional knots here and there there we go and then i'll go inside this bead and then i'm going to tie a little knot so the way i like to do that uh, is go underneath oops, the little seed bead just there and then here we go let's create that little loop uh, I'll create a loop and then I'll just go so it's my threads going under the thread between these seed beads and then I'll go through this loop and then as you can see it just creates make sure it stays in the right spot pull 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 there we go. Oh, one of the cat's pebbles has just come to join me. Um, Barb also says, I thought it would be much harder. No, it's nice and simple. That's the key with jewelry making. The best thing is doing things that look really complicated because then when you show it off to people, they go, wow, that looks so difficult. You must have had so much trouble making that. And you go, oh, yes, it was very, very difficult. But secretly, you know that actually it was quite a simple little process. Um, that's uh that's that's the sort of designs that i like ones that are nice and easy to do but look really complicated just because when you show them off people are always seem so impressed um but yeah you you can do that too um but yes sue i'm going to have to go as soon as you finish i've always been a bit scared of this kind of work <laughs> no worries sue don't forget by the way i am also going to show you how to do the clasp section which is the same as how we've done it on our um calypso so here's that finished bangle now that one's all done and dusted but what i'm going to do now oh maximilian grund my uh my dear german friend my best friend uh he's just joined in can i have a shout out please hey maxi uh thanks for watching i'm glad you're uh you've joined in um but yes everybody else as well say hello to my friend max he's just joined us on facebook so send a little comment hi max <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's the end of the little bangle. What I'm going to do now is create 
the um, necklace one. So uh, this just here, I've used slightly larger beads. Let's zoom out a little. Uh, this is the central section of my um, <coughs> my uh, necklace just here. So if we have a look, oh, we've got uh, lots of people on YouTube saying hello to Max. Uh, I'm glad. Yes, uh, he says hi, everyone. <laughs> But yeah, um, so uh, as you can see, this is the central section using the thicker beads. So this one here, if I just show you the comparison, um, is with four millimeter beads. So you see the difference in thickness? This one's a bit thicker, just a little. It's not too big, but it helps to give you a really nice um, increase in size for your for your uh, graduation. By the way, Max, uh, now that you're here, you're going to have to do some demonstra. Uh, you're going to have to do some jewelry making. Maybe I'll I'll send you a kit. Max is in Germany, uh, but uh, I'll 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 have to send him a kit, and then he can uh, send us a picture of what he's made. <laughs> Um, hi to Gwen, who says this is her very first time. Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Gwen. I really appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, so you can see this is the the slightly finer section, which if we bring it round, there's this sort of the difference in graduation. See how it gets finer and then you've got thicker in the center. I'm going to show you how you decrease your size. So when you're doing your, obviously, um, the, the full instructions, if you want to get the full instructions for this kit, don't forget to jump onto the website. The link is up there in the description, both on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to access it from there. Um, if you want to make this design, there's, there's both, um, the, uh, the, the Hollywood, which was the bangle and also the, um, uh, the Crystal Calypso necklace, which if I just show you very quickly, I'll show you the finished picture. I'll show you a, a finished piece. Let's zoom out a little. Here we go. Here's some finished necklaces uh, of the, the Crystal Calypso that I'm going to show you. Here we go. So there's a really lovely tealy color, uh, which these Aurora Crystal beads, I'll just show you them actually. I absolutely love them. They really do look like little bubbles almost, but they're actually crystals. So there we go. So there's your little crystal beads just there. They've got this beautiful sort of colored um, surface on them so that when they move, the color changes. They look absolutely amazing. So I'm not sure if you can quite see it so well via the camera, but they are absolutely gorgeous beads. All of our designs with um, the crystal Calypso necklaces, or use those Aurora beads. So you get four millimeter beads and then six millimeter beads, and that's what gives you that graduation, which again, we've done lots of colors so that they will match with your your bangles as well. If you fancy, you can you can mix and match the two designs together with your your bangles and your and your necklaces. Um, so yeah, with my little piece just here, get my threads all out the way. Uh, what I'm going to do, again, the Crystal Calypso, the kit itself comes with everything that you need. So you get six mil Aurora beads, you get four mil Aurora beads. Let me take it out of the packet. doesn't look very good in the packet, does it? So you've got your six mil Aurora beads. Jeez, packet within packet. There we go. Uh, six mil Auroras. You've got four mil Auroras as well. So the same color, different sizes. You've got your Spidalon beading thread with a needle. See, there's your needle. Comes included in every kit. Um, and then you've got your, your size 10 Preciosa seed beads. And finally, your instructions are in there too. Full, full instructions, full diagrams, how to do the entire process because I'm going to show you how to graduate down and then I'm going to show you how to do this little clasp section. Graduating down is super simple, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I will show you um, how to do that process. So anyway, with this piece here, I've done this with six mil. Oh, I'm a little bit out of focus. Sorry about that. Let's zoom back in a little. Uh, so yeah, I've done this section with six millimeter beads, which it's exactly the same, more or less. You just have to increase the number of seed beads that you do in each repetition. So you know how before I did my little crystals and then let's do one row, shall we? 
so uh, with my, my little beads just here, what I'm going to do, one, two, three, four, is just pick it up and as we do before, essentially it doesn't make too much of a difference the number of beads. This is like a fun way to change the design as well, is that you can change, reduce, add, increase the number of beads that you've got. So if we have a look at this one, there's actually slightly more beads in the the, the little design here. Let's zoom in and I'll show you the difference if I can. Here we go. So if you have a look, in between each little vertice, one, two, three, four seed beads, where on my other smaller piece, um, which I did just before, between each of these vertices, there's one, two, three seed beads, so slightly less. Uh, Gwen, how do I get these kits, please? Gwen, if you head up to the um, the top, you're on Facebook, so if you go to the top, there's a little description. You might have to press the little read more button, but in there, if you click the link, I think it says, you know, today's pattern and kit and, in, and related products are available from this link. Click on that link and up there, you will get, um, You'll, be, you'll get access to the pattern. If you want just the pattern, you'll get the kit. The kit includes the pattern and all the beads. Um, and then also we've got all of our related products in there as well. So I'll just do one extra little row with these um, bigger beads just to show you the, the, the difference. And then I'll continue on by making the clasp. So one, two, this particular time, instead of making seven, I need nine beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, by the way, don't forget, guys, um, if you want to get featured on the show, send us your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk. And like I did earlier in the show, I will show your pictures off of what you've sent in. So what you've been making, what you've been doing. And plus, don't forget, let me know where you are, what you've been doing, all of these sorts of things in the email, because I like it when we put in the, the little bit of extra text. Like, for example, Sharon, who sent hers in earlier, she told us about how she made this for her her, uh, her daughter-in-law's birthday. Um, but yeah, that's the sorts of things. So definitely send in your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk. I'll just put that little picture at the bottom, um, that little ticker at the bottom so you can see. Um, and I'll continue on. So yeah, I've got my nine seed beads here. And um, can this be done with four mil glass pearls? Uh, Gail, yes, this design can be done with pretty much any beads that you like. It's really, really versatile. I personally really like doing it with crystals just because you get this beautiful sort of um, difference between the two beads. You've got this really vibrant, shiny center, and then the seed beads going around it really, um, really sort of increase the look. Plus, when it's moving, you get this beautiful uh, sparkling effect on your wrist. See how much they look like bubbles? I love them. Um, but yeah, I'll just continue around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so exactly the same if you're just using bigger beads you need to add a few as you go around the nice thing is you can sort of just do it by eye almost so you see see how neatly it fits around that's the sort of effect you want to be getting so um here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine like I said, uh, any size bead you can do this with, and that's a really great way to get like a, a graduation happening. Um, so, uh, whoops, I've just got myself caught on one of my threads, uh, on one of my other pieces. Here we go. So there we go. And now you can see that's perfectly in position now to continue adding the next row of, of little beads there. So I'll add on my little clasp section. If we have a look just here, so here's my little... Uh, clasp section. I'm going to add on a clasp to the end of this little piece just here, just to show you how that works. Sorry. So again, as always, it is always better to finish off with a crystal row. So I'll just bring it to the middle here, add in my crystals. Let me just get it in focus a bit more. I might zoom out a tiny, tiny bit. And yeah, let's get it back in focus. There we go. Um, so pick up a crystal, 
The nice thing about these Aurora crystal beads, we do have a, a bundle for sale of them on our website. In that same category page, you can get the, the discount bundle of Aurora crystals. I don't know if you'll have seen them before. They're really, really interesting beads. They're just a little bit different, and I absolutely think that they look gorgeous when you use them. So if you've never tried them before, have a go at using... Oh, sorry, I'm out of shot there. Um, have a go at using the Aurora crystal beads because they really are spectacular. And when you've got um, four mil ones, you've got six mil ones that we have, uh, we also have, which are absolutely stunning, this sort of rondelle shape uh, as well. So um, definitely check out the um, Aurora crystals. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and then through here. And now I'm pretty much back in position, ready to create my clasp section. So there we go. See that there? Um, yeah, yeah. Risa, can I try it with my cat's eye beads? Yes, you can. Uh, literally any beads you want to use, you can you can use for this particular one. Um, also, one last thing. I'll just pop it at the bottom. I've replaced the ticker at the bottom. Um, if you want to be informed when we're doing new tutorials, um, we do them very often. There's one every Wednesday and every Saturday. Um, if you fancy joining in and having a go and making along with me, um, subscribe. There's a link at the very, very top there uh, in the description or in the bottom if you're on YouTube. Um, and that will take you to where you can get more patterns, more videos. We let you know when we do all of these different things. Um, you can get access to them all by subscribing to our newsletter. So hit that link and pop in your email address and subscribe. So uh, I'm just about to create this little clasp section. So with my thread coming out here, I need to um, make sure I'm coming out of one of these little seed beads between two of the crystals. And what I'll do, I'll pick up four little seed beads, followed by one of my crystals, which sort of forms the base. I've gone for six mils. You can use four mils if you prefer as well, which maybe I should have, but doesn't matter. I'm going to do it with six mils today. See, I'm creating this little section here at the end. So this is a great way to extend the length of your your jewelry as well so especially in terms of the the necklace you can repeat this process multiple times to create the exact length of necklace that you want so if you want it to sit really high on your neck um you can just repeat this multiple times if you want it to sit um sorry just a few times if you want it to sit lower down on your neck you just keep repeat 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 repeating um so pick up your little beads like so and then because i'm only going to make one little clasp section uh, i'm not going to make a full because i've only got like a bracelet size piece here um, i'm not going to do a necklace sort of length uh, but i will show you so what i'll do i'm going to pick up 10 little seed beads so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10. Now, with this section, you can do more, you can do less. I just chose 10 because it's a nice sort of even number. It's a nice sort of simple number to use. Uh, 10 little beads that I've got just here. That's all I'm going to, to need. Then what I'll do is pick up one more crystal. All right, there we go. A 6 mil crystal here. If you use a big crystal, it tends to work a bit better. So I'll use a 6 mil crystal here. And just one seed bead only so there we go i've got my one little seed bead just there at the very very end and now what i'm going to do is create a really beautiful the nice thing about these aurora beads if uh i just show you here is that they have a lovely big hole that you can use so let's just see if you can see that they've got a nice big hole it's a bit dark so maybe you can't quite see it but it's a lovely big hole in there so you can go through it multiple times and essentially what i'm going to do is create this little uh bead covering effect to make it look absolutely stunning so i'll slide it down i will go back skipping this little bead at the end and come down to the bottom of this little crystal just here so there we go 
down, 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 all the way, pull it all nice and tight so everything is firm, and then get it just that little bit tighter now, put my fingers over it, there we go, that holds everything and it's nice and tight. So what I do now, I'm going to create little bridges, I'm going to just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, picking up beads and adding them to... Um, this little outside so you can use maybe five or six seed beads whatever looks better you can sort of test it against to see how the size will look um five mm, might be a bit few i think i'll go with six so now with my thread coming out the bottom i'm going to just wait let's just move it down a touch so we can see take my thread around the bead and down the hole so that i'm back where i was before creating like a little bridge of beads around that crystal there's one little group so there we go see that there's that first little group of beads i'll pick up six more one two three four five six more beads so i'm coming out the bottom again now i'm going to just go back through the top again so there's another pull tight every every iteration every second iteration because then that will sort of pull the first one tight and now if you have a look that just sits nice and neatly on top of the other one so now i've got two Pick up six more again, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one, if you've got a nice big hole and a nice fine thread, you can just keep going round and round and round um, as many times until it's a little difficult to get your thread through and you just keep adding beads. But it really makes it a very, a very effective way of creating your end. Just got to be careful that they don't twist around each other. There we go. Pull, 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 nice and tight. So you can see now I've got three. I'll just get them out the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Slide it around. And then through the same hole again. Try and keep it out of the way of the thread. Let's just turn up the brightness a touch, shall we? Let's see how it looks. Hopefully it won't be too bad. There we go. Hopefully that will just make it a little bit clearer for you is that little bit of brightness better um i'll just get rid of that little ticker at the bottom we don't need to see that anymore um there we go um so do it again so you can see it really sort of starts to come together i'll do it again one two three four five six either just keep doing it until it looks sort of what you're happy with or once you sort of run out of space in the the hole of the bead so like i said the bigger the, the hole is the more times you can do this um but yeah try not to get them too tangled into each other there we go and i might just turn it over and i'll just do a couple more one two three four five six and then again i'll just slide them down through that hole once more get it nice and central and pull nice and tight there we go whoops they're a bit twisted just untwist that there we go and pull there we go and oh once more for luck shall we just to get a really nice clean finish around that bead one two three four five six go slide them down pop it in the gap through the hole and then there we go once more there we are and now have a look look at that perfect little bead within a, uh, a little beaded bead as it were so if you get it nice and firm doesn't that just look absolutely gorgeous what do we think of that um it's a really really lovely um little design there um, uh, but yeah, that's uh, a really great way of sort of just increasing the look of your, your finished pieces. So, um, here's another example in a teal color that you can see, see that one. I didn't do quite as many so that you can actually see the bead underneath as well. So it's a matter of preference, how many times you do it. It's entirely up to you. Um, 
But yeah, then uh, what I'm going to do now is just continue on and I'm going to finish off this little clasp section. It's important that you don't miss this little bit because this bit is important. So I'm going to pick up 10 beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to skip all these 10 beads just here and I'm going to jump through this crystal here at the bottom. Get that nice and tight. There we go. Try and get it untangled. There we go. Pull that nice and firm. So that's going to give you a little bit of extra strength, but I'm going to come back and do a third one in a minute. But here, this is the key to really making this clasp look good, is you pick up... So I've done four beads the first time. I need to pick up four beads again. One, two, three, four. And then what I'm going to do is go through that little bead on the vertice around my crystal. So I'll just rotate it round. So you can see before I came out of this vertice, I skipped this one, and I'll go through this vertice here. And then that creates a nice little bond from my clasp to the center. And then what I'm going to do now is just go through this crystal here and through this little vertice bead as well. And I'm going to finish my little beaded tripod, as it were, at the bottom by again picking up one, two, three beads. And then going, oh, sorry, four beads, almost forgot one, four beads, and then up through this crystal once more to create that little tripod at the bottom. There we go, one, two, three, four. Lovely, perfect. So now you can see at the base, I've got a very, very strong connection from my bracelet or necklace, whichever, to this crystal. So that's super firm. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to need a few extra seed beads, I think. Am I? One, two, three. No, no, I've, had it. I've got just enough. One, two, three. I need ten. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to go up through my crystal once more into that little bead at the very, very tip just to secure that. So the one that's along, oops, the, the little logo got in the way there, um, into that little crystal at the very, very tip of my bead there. And then down into the crystal just once more to make sure everything is nice and secure. And there you go. Now we've got three lovely strands connecting our little class bead to our crystal and the rest of our bracelet. You can just weave this down one, keep weaving it through into your bracelet or necklace, whichever, and tie it all off. And then what we will do at the opposite end, you just get it everything nice and firm and tight, make sure it ends with the crystals, and essentially you repeat this exact same process, but instead of using a little bead at the end, you create a little loop that will fit your crystal around it. So I'll just show you one, because instead of remaking the whole process again, we'll just do exactly the same thing, but with a little loop at the top there that you can join together. Now, it's entirely up to you. This one is slightly different in that you've I've only done it with two little loops. You can do two, you can do three, you can do however many you want. It's entirely up to you. See, look, here's a, the same color in, in three, and here's the same color with just two links. But this is a great way, as I said, if I just zoom out, to select the exact size that you want your piece of jewelry to be. So like I said in this one, for example, um, I've got this little section here, which is my, my little necklace piece in the center, which um, let's see if I can find uh, the right little um, picture here. Let me just, um, Let's see. Let's just go back. I'll just show you a little picture. So uh, if I just show you it on Maxine's lovely uh, picture there. So you can see on the image there, uh, it hangs relatively low 
on her just there. If you wanted it to hang a little bit um, closer to the neck, you can just make this section a bit shorter. If you want it to, whoops, I've not got the image showing again. <laughs> Aren't I silly? There we go. Uh, if you want it to hang a little bit lower down the neck than where it is sitting on that particular one, you just make this little section a bit longer. So it's entirely up to you. You can choose how many um, beads go in the little links as well. It's entirely your preference. Whatever you think looks best, that's a great thing about this design. You can just sort of play with that um, if you prefer two. Like, for example, Evelyn, she says, I prefer the two link strands. I personally really like the three link strands. You know, even if you want just one link strand, you can do that as well. It's entirely up to you how you do that. Um, but yeah, that's um, more or less the entire process for doing that clasp section. And as I said, you just finish it off with a loop on the other side. And much like this piece just here, you've got your loop and your crystal and you just pop it in. If you also, um, like I've got on this one, if you prefer it just as having the crystal plain, you can just have the crystal on the end as well. You don't have to do the decoration around it as well. It's entirely up to you. You just have to change the size of your loop then. But the number of seed beads that you need to use for all of these, they are in that pattern that is up in the description. So definitely um, don't uh, worry too much about that if you um, uh, need to know the number of beads and quantities and whatnot. The pattern that comes with the kit, if you get the kit, does include um, all the bead quantities that you need to use. Like for example, you know, five beads here and six beads there and whatnot. All of that is covered in that little finished design. So um, one last thing, I'll just show you again. That's what I did this week. What's coming next week is our dagger designs. Um, I'll just check and see if we've got that ready on the website for you to take a look at and see if the daggers and the bundles are available. Not yet. They will be available very soon, I believe, just a few minutes away, and then you'll be able to get the, the dagger bundles um, as well. So uh, I think there's three different colorways of that dagger bundle, which is coming. It'll be on the website very, very soon. But don't forget the little instructions um, booklet that we have, which is available now on the website so i'll just show you it there even though the bundles aren't quite there yet just here on the left the little um booklet just here the bundles are coming soon so if you wait about five or ten minutes the bundles will be there but um they are going to include this little pattern booklet but if you prefer if you've got daggers already and seed beads and things um this little booklet here it is on sale it has lots of um, different designs inside there. For some reason, it's got a little bit of text incorrect there. I'll fix that in just a second. But this one will show you all of those different little dagger designs in the one. So there's also this necklace in there. Um, you've got that dragonfly. Um, there's lots of findings that will be included as well. Um, it shows you how to do these butterfly brooches that you can do as a brooch. Or you can even put it onto like a bangle, something like this, for example, which looks really effective. Um, and then there's another one of those little necklaces, uh, a, a second. So there's there's two different necklaces, there's flowers, there's about two or three different styles of flower that you learn. And then lastly is that, that little necklace, um, which you see in the top left corner there in the yellow. That one is surprisingly, there's a very, very clever, this one's Jermaine's design that she's put together. It has a extremely clever little feature to it so that when you're wearing it, I'll just go back to the image at the beginning if I can find it real quickly. Um, um, there, this image here, there's a really clever design feature that Jermaine has put into this design to make sure that it doesn't flop. So because if you haven't quite done it right, the flowers can flop down a bit this design of Jermaine's, make sure that doesn't happen. That's going to be coming on Wednesday. And then on Saturday, um, so a week from today, I'm going to be showing you the Times Square bracelet, which is absolutely stunning. It incorporates a beaded clasp, which looks great, um, which 
I, I, I might have time to show you it. I'm not sure yet, so we'll find out. I'll let you know in due course. Um, but yeah, there's the design. You can see it's got this lovely little um, cross feature between all your mini tiles, but that comes in lots and lots of different colors. Um, that is also available on the website. I have a feeling the pattern uh, should be available on the website there. And I might do um, a little, wait, let's just have a look. Yep, there it is. There's the little um, pattern just there. And I'm also going to do a, um, a bundle on this one, which I'm not quite sure how much it's going to be exactly. Maybe it'll be another three for 20 or something like that. But um, I might do a bundle, but you can see there's lots of different colors that we have for this absolutely gorgeous bracelet that's coming next Saturday. So as you can see, lots and lots of different colors to choose from. I really like this purple and gold one. Looks a bit saturated there, but in person, it absolutely looks beautiful. Um, but yeah, and then that's Wednesday's tutorial coming. And then just lastly, I'll just show you last week, if you missed it, I did the honeycomb crystal bracelet. You can check that one out now. Again, that is available. I'll show you actually, this is quite a fun little thing that I can show you on our website. If you have a look in the menu section, uh, up the top here, it's just out of screen annoyingly, kits and tutorials, which if you're on mobile, you just press the little um, button in the top left corner that opens the menu, and you can go to our video tutorials section. In there, you can see all of our video tutorials. So there's the one I did um, a few days ago. Here is the one that I'm doing very much live right now. I don't know what's gonna happen if I click on here. Might even show me live, just a, a few seconds delayed, uh, even if I, I click play. But yeah, you can go back and you can watch. There you go, look, there's us right now watching live. Um, but yeah, from there, there's all these different videos. These are previous videos that I've been doing live. Plus also you can hit this load more button and there's lots and lots and lots more of videos for you to watch. Uh, on techniques as well down here. There's all different beading stitches. So tubular netting, like what I did today, but without crystals, um, cubic right angle weave, there's herringbone, tubular herringbone, tubular peyote, um, how to zip up peyote. There's lots and lots of netting stitches as well. All sorts of different techniques in Petersburg. Um, but yeah, check that out. See, look, even load more down here as well. There's lots and lots of different ones that we have just there for you to have a look at in our video tutorials section as well. So I'll just bring it back to me over here. I'll just get myself back into focus. And um, yeah, so thank you all very, very much for joining in today. Let's have a look at some comments. Um, Oh, no, no, no. I almost forgot to show people's live pictures. I'll just check. Andrew, I think, has been very, very busy. I don't know if he's got my live pictures uh, ready, but let's just have a quick look and see if the pictures that you've been sending in are ready already. I'll just have a quick look. If not, I'm going to show them on Wednesday. It's been a bit of a frantic day for us at Bead Spider. Um, We've, uh, we've been a bit um, <clears throat> short staffed this week, so we haven't done as much as usual, uh, but uh, let's have a little look. I've got a few pictures. I've got at least one to show. Um, I've got one I really, really like, actually. Um, there was another that I hope we put in there, which came from Facebook. Oh, we got plenty. We've got lots of pictures. Great. Um, Wonderful. So he has done that one. I'll just pop those on the screen now. So this is uh, the first of those. If you want to get featured, by the way, I'll just mention it real quick uh, before I do this. Um, it's too late for today's show, but I'll show you at the start on Wednesday. Um, so for the people who want their products shown and they didn't manage to be shown today, send pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk and I will get your picture on so that um, we can, I'll share it with all of you who are viewing at home today. Um, but yeah, so today's pictures, let's have a look. I really like this. Um, Wayne from Pflugerville in Texas, USA, he has sent us uh, two different designs that he's got just there. He had a go with my Dancing Cubes herringbone video. So that was um, a week ago now. I think that was last Saturday's video. If you missed that one, that's another great video. Lots of people have been sending in their pictures. Um, Catherine, hi, can I have a link to the next live video, please? 
The link isn't ready for the next video quite yet, but if you go up to the um, link in the description that um, is up there in the description. If you're on YouTube, I think the description is just below. If you click on there, it will take you. There's a few links. One to subscribe to our newsletter, which we let you know every single time we've got a video coming, you'll get an email and it says we're about to go live, which the best thing about that email is even if you've missed the show, you can come back to it. You can click the link in the email and it will take you straight to the video even um you know three days later and you can watch on demand whenever you want whenever's convenient for you so definitely hit that and then the link there for today's um show of the kit that i made today is available um up there and then if you want to get things for upcoming shows like catherine has asked click the link that says upcoming shows if you click that it will take you to the page for seeing what the different shows that we have upcoming um on that page uh there is uh, sorry on that page that's where you will see where all of the different um uh things that are coming up and you can get the patterns the products all of these different things from those pages so Catherine's just asked that question. Great question. Thanks for um, letting me answer that one for you. Um, but yeah, let's just get back to having a little look. We've got Wayne's uh, again. Uh, yeah, so he's made the little people, which I absolutely love. Uh, that looks like it's in Peyote Stitch. And then he's had a go at um, the Herringbone um, Dancing Cubes there, which they say is very comfortable to wear so thank you very much to wayne on that one we've got becca's art studio um one of her designs there so that looks fantastic there becca i absolutely love that it's quite a, a beautiful statement piece with pendants and gemstones it looks like and all things dangling off and that's a really really nice design i like how you've put that one together that looks absolutely beautiful so that one's from becca's art studio thanks um for that one we've also got one here from colleen um wait let me just where are we let's just resize this so it fits a bit better there we go uh there we can see colleen's pictures just there there's that flat spiral in the top corner um that looks fantastic there and then down the bottom we've also got another one which looks like it's little beaded links i think there um maybe little herringbone pieces in links and then that's connected to one of our gorgeous little love heart um um clasps just there so the little heart in the center lifts up and off uh, and is stuck down with a little magnet so that's a really beautiful little clasp as well but great job there for colleen she sent us quite a few of her pictures um but yeah she's she's quite a regular don't forget you can see at the bottom just there um if you want to send your pictures in live at beadspider.co.uk and i'll try and get yours shown in um wednesday show um, we've also got June here. Yes, my first ever bracelet. She's made one of our um, 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 honeycomb. I couldn't think of the name for a minute there. Uh, she's made one of our honeycomb bracelets, her first ever bracelet. And she's done it um, with the uh, macrame board uh, there as well. So great job there to June. That looks absolutely amazing. She said she's really pleased with the result. And as you can see, because that one uses that sliding knot clasp, it's great because especially if you're someone who makes to sell, um, those sliding knot clasps, which if you want to know what I'm talking about, go check out the video that I've done um, last week, the, the honeycomb towards the end, I will, uh, you, you learn about that. Um, it allows you to make bracelets that are like one size fits all. So like I said, if you make jewelry to sell, it is a great way of doing jewelry that you don't have to worry about if it's going to fit people, um, they can just make it fit themselves. Um, we also have Maria. She's ahead of the game. So a Times Square bracelet that she made with our kit during lockdown. Um, so she's already made her her uh, Times Square already. Like I said, it's one of our most popular ones. So it's not too surprising to see that people have already gone ahead and made these in the past. Um, but yeah, she says 
that she's got a Hollywood bangle kit that she's going to make. So clearly she's been getting hers in time to make it today. So today's tutorial was very helpful. Great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. By the way, Maria, um, you haven't told us where you're from. I would love to know. So if you're watching the show right now, put in a little comment telling us where you're from. But yeah, with um, if you're sending in pictures, if you let us know where you're from, we like putting that in because, uh, you know, it's quite nice to know where everybody's from. It seems to be from all over the world. Um, and then Mary Ann, again, she's done that Dancing Cubes design as a bracelet, which was last Saturday's tutorial. But she has gotten super creative, looks fantastic, and she's made these winged earrings. Uh, she's adapted the design and made earrings to match, and that looks absolutely spectacular. Again, Mary Ann, you didn't tell us where you were from. I want to know. Um, but yeah, that looks amazing. So thank you very, very much, Mary Ann, for sending that in as well. Um, have we got any more? Yes. There's another picture of Sue's um, little uh, bracelet that she made just there. So thank you, Sue, for sending that in. That's the, the honeycomb bracelet she said, which was her first ever bracelet. So that's great. Thank you very much. That's back to Wayne. There was one other picture which I forgot to show last week. Let me just see if I can find that one really quickly. Um, because that lady, she said, uh, she sent it in and we missed hers. I'll just find it. Um, here we go. Uh, Agnes it was, um, where's that picture? There we go. Let's just go back. There we go. Aggie. Uh, Abby, Aggie from Birmingham, she's made all of these. Again, there's another dancing cubes there in the middle. She's done a slightly different clasp, though. Uh, she's put a little magnetic bar clasp. Um, those ones that we sell, they're quite nice. Plus, she's got some of our toggles on, on other ones as well. But those are some beautiful designs. Again, thank you, Aggie, for sending in those pictures. They look amazing. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who sent in their pictures. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. That looked um Great. It was lovely to see that uh, Sue did her very first ever piece of jewellery with one of my tutorials. I really appreciate that. Don't forget, guys, um, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you, you're sharing for me and things. Um, Sharon, yes, the picture of the jazz. Maybe you, you missed that. I showed that one. I think I maybe even showed it twice even. I'll just pop that one up on screen. Sharon's just uh, mentioned that I didn't show hers. I'll just show your picture, Sharon, one more time as well. Um, just so that you will see, because, I mean, it is a lovely design. She has asked uh, me to just pop that back on for her. So where are we? Sharon, I'll just pop that on the screen. Um, her lovely jazz jewelry set that she made. So I'll just pop it on the screen here. There we go. There's Sharon's jazz uh, design that she made. So from the video tutorial I did a couple of weeks ago now, that beautiful pendant, um, like a stacked necklace set. So thank you um, again there for Sharon's uh, little one. She she said she missed it, so I thought I would just show it once more real quick um, so that she, she would see. She was a bit late to the party, she says, but she's joined in. Um, lots of people are giving fantastic comments about these um, designs everybody's done. Um, as I promised, the um, the dagger bundles are now available up on the website. So I'll just show you how to get there. I'll just link over to our homepage so you can check out the homepage. Um, let's have a look. So there's the homepage. If you want, you can access all of our tutorial videos. And maybe I need to put a link on here to see what's upcoming. But anyway, here's what I did today. Here's what was last week. But from our little menu just here, if you click on kits and tutorials, if you go to this video tutorial related products, you'll see what's upcoming. Um, and then here, this is the dagger bundles. Apparently they're up now and available. So I'll just show them very, very quickly. So inside here, there's apparently five colors to choose from. Fantastic. So this is the little product, $24.95 down from 32 pounds. So good discount on that one and look, how much content you get inside each one. So you've got, here we go, here's a little example. Um, there's some, oh, you can't quite see the beads at the top, but there's some four mil auroras. You've got six mils, you've got four mil bicones. You've got some dagger beads over here in three different colors. You get seed beads, you've got keychains, you've got brooch backs, a bit more seed beads as well. That's one color. There's the purple color here as well. Again, we can't quite see. There's an extra crystal strand just up the top. Unfortunately, I just can't seem to show it to you. Maybe if I shrink it down, you'll see it. Um, 
here. So wait, there's the extra strand of purple beads. It's just there at the top. It's for some reason, didn't want to show. But yeah, lots and lots of beautiful daggers in there. Um, and your findings. There's also this beautiful sort of goldy colors. Check out these daggers. Aren't they stunning? So those look like they're Picasso um, spotted. Uh, they're stenciled beads and then studded with Picasso. So there's also a beautiful teal color section. Um, and then these are all the sorts of things that you can make from that. So definitely check out the five options. They're all just here. Um, oh, it doesn't show that on the screen for some reason. How funny is that? Um, but yeah, there's no, supposedly there's four color options. It says. it says five for some reason, but it seems that there's only four available at the minute, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, maybe that's just a typo. Um, but yeah, so that is our little dagger designs bundle just there, which you can access just here. I might change this picture because it's the same one. Uh, that's a bit confusing. And then we've got extra findings here as well. Uh, that's in our little tutorial video products section. Um, so definitely check that out as well. And then here is the time square that's coming. Like I said, I'll do a little bundle on that kit as well. Um, but yeah, so um, like I said, I will see you all on Wednesday for the Dagger Designs. I'm not going to be able to cover everything that's in that book because the book is just too long. Um, but yeah, that's discounted pattern wise as well. If you do get one of our bundles, it will include the booklet as well. So that's included in the price. Um, uh, that you get there too. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Let's make sure I can see everybody's comments because usually lots of people are saying goodbye right about now. Um, and okay, there's only four colorways um, of that little dagger bundle. I don't know why it said five, but um, thank you all very, very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, I'll just show you really quickly again what it was I made in case you missed it. I did this... Um, beautiful this is the hollywood bangle kit uh with the beaded netting as well as well there is also the calypso necklace which goes quite nicely with my uh my sort of brown my creamy colored jumper there but yeah that's the the necklace design which graduates just ever so slightly from being a little bit thinner to a little bit fatter and then back to a bit thinner so that's a really interesting thing on the pattern there um sharon says she's really looking forward to the dagger designs great um i hope you'll all be watching i'm going to schedule a video for that but make sure you subscribe up on that link up at the top of the description or at the bottom of the description wherever if you're watching on youtube or facebook because that will make sure you are informed of when we are doing videos that's the best way to know about when videos are coming out what products are on sale um when we do patterns we do lots of free patterns as well so you'll um you'll be informed when we do free patterns uh by subscribing to that little newsletter as well so definitely it's an absolute must if you jump on the the mailing list you'll be in the loop you'll be one of us one of the crew um you know part of the bead spider family and, and you'll be right in the loop uh in the web almost as it were um but yes yeah, so uh, like I said, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on Wednesday for the daggers. I'll see you on Saturday for the Times Square designs as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all then. So thank you very, very much for watching. Have a lovely day. I'm off to spend some time with Maxine because it's been a very, very busy, busy, busy week. I haven't had a proper day off for, um, you know, you know, a week or more now. Um, so I think today is a good opportunity to spend some time with Maxine. Um, clearly everybody in my, in my life is named Max. There's Maxine, the girlfriend, and Maximilian, the, uh, the best friend. Uh, so everybody's named Max. But anyway, um, time to spend some time with Maxine. She, uh, you know, she puts up with a lot of my, uh, my poop. So time to repay the favor and spend some nice time with her. Uh, but yes, bye to Sue. Thank you for joining. Monica, she says thank you as well. Thanks for watching, Monica. Um, June, see you on Wednesday. Um, yeah, Barb says thanks, Tata, for now. Um, and then Catherine says thank you. Lots and lots of people have all joined in. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you on Wednesday. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.